player killing. The act of a player killing another player is what sparked life in RuneScape back in the day and is most likely what caused this game to become the world's most popular free to play game. Hello RuneScape, we'll miss it here with the new video on how is everyone doing. PKing has always been a huge thing in the game. In 2013, Jagas revealed that over 1000 RuneScape videos are being uploaded every single day. The two most popular RuneScape related YouTube channels are all about showcasing the most epic PKing clips. The oldest still active clan, the Wilderness Guardians, is a PKing clan, and some of the most famous RuneScape players throughout our time were PKers. There is no doubt that PKing is huge, but where did it start? After the release of RuneScape Classic 4th of January 2001, PKing was introduced as a class where you could choose whether or not you would like to be in a player killer mode or a non player killer mode. If you kept on changing, you'd eventually get stuck to one of them. At this point, PvP was everywhere, besides a safe location in Lumbridge. There were even NPCs guarding towns who would attack the player who started a fight in an attempt to break them up. However, that mode was quickly removed due to player complaints as only 8 months after, in August 2001, the Wilderness was released to the game. The Wilderness was a new place for tactical action. There were a lot of different trends in the PKing community, and all the ones who really went for success would know what was the best. People would create accounts purely to become a PKer as some skills like defense would decrease your max hit. Training that skill was not an option. Throughout the years, some updates were released that improved and formed player killing. Throughout 2005, we saw releases like the Abyssal Whip, the Dragon Scimitar, Ancient Magics and the Barrows items, which instantly became extremely popular in PvP together with the Poison Dragon Dagger for high hitting special attacks. The lower level wilderness were filled with single players or small teams who worked together to get the kills. These were the ones who went in for some minor fun. The higher level wilderness belonged to the clans. Major clan wars went down there with tons of player created groups who fought to the last man standing. Clan names like the Pinkies or the Wilderness Guardians were feared names. Becoming a part of these kind of clans had prestige. It was all about tactics, being the best one, being the fastest one, having the best items, being the smarter player. On the 10th of January 2007, Jagex announced that the wilderness was changed in an attempt to defeat real-world trading. Bots were a massive problem at the time, with thousands of them being in the game 24-7. Though Jagex actively banned a lot of them, they kept popping up and removing the PvP function in the wilderness was a big attempt to fix the issue. Countless riots broke out after the update, one of them being the most known riot of all time, the pay to pk riot, which literally went on for nearly a week before it died down completely. The forums exploded with over 1700 players online at the same time, where 1500 of them were on the rants forum alone. For the next few months, the newly released Bounty Hunter, Clan Wars and the then newly made free to play Duel Arena was where the PKers had to turn to. They were actively used at the time to PK other players. A few months later, on the 15th of October 2008, Jagex released the PvP Worlds. Some things were turned here that was removed in 2007, like the Telebox spell and the drops when players died. These worlds allowed you to PK everywhere besides safe spots like banks and spawn locations. Skillers tended to use these worlds carefully as most people feared the potential PKer coming by, which made it easier for the more risky skillers to train there undisturbed. 6th of May 2009, the Bounty Hunter worlds were released as an update to the Bounty Hunter minigame. These worlds were meant for wilderness PKing only, where you could only access Edgeville, the Grand Exchange and the wilderness on these worlds. You would receive a target which you had to kill, which would be another player located in the wilderness. This went on for the next few years. Even with the losses from the 2007 wilderness removal, the PKing community still thrived as it was fairly popular in the game. 21st of December 2010, Jagex opened a petition which would let the players vote to return the wilderness and the free trade, and within the first 24 hours, the poll had already received 1.2 million votes, which at some point crashed the RuneScape website due to the oncoming traffic. It was closed on December 24th with 1.7 million votes. There were a lot of issues with the poll, however. Some text was changed in it from vote now to vote yes. There were no vote option to vote no for the update and you didn't have to log in to vote which means that anyone could vote with any username as many times as it like. To address the issues, Jagex released a new poll on the 24th which allowed you to vote for yes, no or don't mind. It also required you to log in to the website. In game, people went crazy. 
everywhere you'd go you'd see a throwaway account auto-spamming in order to make people vote yes. YouTube creators that didn't even play RuneScape made videos in order to support the RuneScape community. And on 14th of January 2011, the poll closed with 1.2 million votes with a 91% yes. A few days later, on January 17th, it was announced that the Wilderness and Free Trade would return to the game and be released February 1st that same year. 20th of November 2012, after the 6th month long beta looking for improvements, the evolution of combat saw sunshine for the first time in RuneScape, being considered the largest update to that date. This reworked the entire combat system, which hit PKing very drastically. The usual PKing tactics were made ineffective. The system did not work as it normally would, which quickly killed PKing as we would know it. At the time, few players did PKing at all, where most of it only happened in minigames. There have been a few attempts since that to revive the PKing community in RuneScape 3. At RuneFest, J must have been asking for PvP improvements, Legacy Mode was released with an aim of reviving the PKing community. 22nd of February 2013, Jagex released Old School RuneScape after a poll which received 449,000 votes. Currently, Old School RuneScape contains just under half of RuneScape's current population, where the PKing community once again thrives actively. On RuneScape 3, there is a small number of PKers in the designated PKing worlds. However, with the minigame spotlight update, minigame PKing has become active once again. Hopefully you enjoyed this important piece of RuneScape history. If you did, I did a few of these sorts of videos a while back. For example, the origins of Rune Armor or the history behind the never-released Necromancer skill. My name is Will Miss It and I'll see you guys later.